what we're uh, what we're going to do is build a simple report. So we uh, select new, select the report template we want. We'll do this one as a landscape report, I think. Select the template and open that template. We can change the report name here. Um, we just make this one simple and straightforward. And then click next. And uh, congratulations, because we've just done our first report. Well, almost. This is the report grid. We've got the bands shown here. Uh, we're going to have a look at the report inspector. This shows us uh, things about the particular report that we're working in. Here's a set of parameters that are available. Uh, at the moment, there are no fields in the report because we've got no data source, which is one of the first things we want to correct. If we paste in the query that we developed in the previous steps, we'll see that um, the query is evaluated in the database and we can see the fields that are contained or presented within that query. And they then appear in here in the field and they're available to us to move and manipulate within the report. We can drag them onto the report, drop them. You notice that the field name appears in the column header and um, the variable part, the part that will vary with each record, uh, appears in the detail band. So uh, that's the report. We just take a quick preview peek at that report to uh, check our handiwork out. We can see probably not the most beautiful report. Um, wouldn't win any prizes at the monthly sales meeting for that one. But um, it does have most of the data in that we're looking for. So let's go back to the designer and see if we can tidy it up a little bit. First off, notice here the, the bands. These are the bands. We're not going to use the title one, so we might as well get rid of it. Right? That makes the report a bit smaller. We've got a um, page header, which we might use. We might put a title on each page. So uh, put a static text field in there. Type anything we want into the box. We'll just call this a really simple report. Um, uh, click on that, move it uh, into position, we can slide around, you can see that uh, there's some assistance in the wireframe uh, showing what it's lining up with. So we can change the properties of that field with it selected, we'll make it bold and slightly bigger, uh, we can stretch the field out, and do some alignment and I think uh, I think we'll drop a we'll drop a line in place so uh, make it look really pretty. Use all our creative talent, and then just drag the line out to the right size. And we'll probably use one in the footer as well. So we'll copy and paste that. Um, just select the page footer by clicking in it, hit paste, and then. Uh, use the cursor keys with it selected just to line it up wherever we want, move it up a little bit, then we can probably pop a page number in below there. So that's uh, that's that. What we'll do is um, we'll, uh, we'll pop a couple of text fields in so that we can check. We can do things like uh, show when the report was compiled because that, that's, uh, that's always useful. It saves people arguing about whether it's up to date or not. And uh, there's a little bit of um, uh, there's a little text expression that's uh, that's useful that we'll just paste into uh, uh, paste into this field, and that will present as a, a full date and time. That's just using the Java date. And then we'll pop um, pop an expression in here 
to do with the um, uh, page number and number of pages which when you look if you look in the uh, the variables you might see these variable details actually held in there uh, I'll just do some uh, little bit of alignment and uh, tidy it up a little bit and then uh, We'll make the uh, we'll make the detail column um, make the header column slightly slightly shallower, take up less uh, less space on the printed sheet. Uh, just do a bit of alignment here. Just put the column headers in bold and um, line up this sort of dog leg effect that we've got down here line everything up and with all that lined up we can just shrink the detail column a little bit and we can get more rows on each page. We're not going to use the column footer um, so we might as well get rid of that as well and that'll just compact things a little bit so if we have a look at that now um, just have a look at the preview of it and check our handy workout. That's improved. We've got the uh, we've got the date there. We've got a few more uh, rows on each page. Ooh, something odd about the page number there. One of fourteen. I mean, we only had eight before, and we squashed it up. So let's have a look how many pages there are. Two. And now we've got two of one. Hmm. That's um, that's all slightly odd, I'm not quite sure what's going on there, or are we? Um, what's actually um, what's actually happening here is the the variable the variables that we've chosen page number and page count aren't actually the ones that we need um, there's a shorthand way of doing this, there's a um, in the palette there's a little tool there which gives us um, the right fields to use. Essentially you use page number each time but the properties on each of the fields are changed such that it's evaluated at a different time. So now we've got page one of two and page two of two. So uh, that's that's working out okay now. Now what we want to do is add totals to the report. Um, so we're going to put a, a little label in place, just a static text label, just letting us know that this uh, row is actually the totals row. So we'll line that up and we're going to put it in the summary band. So the summary band is evaluated at the end of the report. So we'll process all the fields and then this will be evaluated. So what we're going to do is put a couple of uh, couple of fields in place to display the text value, and then we're going to um, we're going to create some variables so that we can do the counting during the report. Now here's the variables. We'll add a variable. We can change the name of the variable over here in the properties. So we'll just call it um, total forecast for this one. We'll change the type to be um, a double. And we'll change the calculation to be a sum. Add another variable, and this variable is going to be for the delivered quantity. We're going to total the delivered quantity up in here. Again, we'll give it a meaningful name. Change the type to uh, double. Change the calculation to sum, 
and there we are. So what we want to do now is start connecting the um, the variable up to that field make sure we did that correctly and similarly with the other one select We'll just change the formatting of it so that um, it looks, it's got commas and it's easier to read uh, when it's printed. And um, we'll preview it. So. There's all the detail rows, onto page 2, and there's something gone wrong with our totals. Nothing's adding up, so we need to check out, work out what we're doing wrong here. Something going wrong, I'm still absolutely convinced. Yep, we're definitely getting nothing. Right, aha! I see what's going wrong. We're actually presenting the field value in there rather than the variable as we should be. Still not right. Now we're right. Now we're putting the right value in there. It's the variable, not the field. Preview and that's the value of the other column, of course, is null all the way down, so it will total up to null. So that is now working as it should be.